Well, hello everyone, I'm glad to see you here. Um, so, uh, my name is uh, Marek Marušin and I am a participant of one of many uh, summer coding programs. As, uh, actually, this is uh, Google Summer of Code. So, I'm part of uh, Fedora community around, um, I don't know, three months. And uh, before I start talking about one great uh, automation tool, I would just like to uh, thank uh, my mentors and, and their team who really helped me with a lot of technical stuff. And uh, I think without them, I won't be here. Uh, so I will, will be talking about uh, ReleaseBot. Um, ReleaseBot is especially useful when you are upstream developer or when you are maintainer of some projects uh, because uh, as we know, we still need to do quite a lot of uh, manually, manual work and hard, hard work. And actually, that's why we are working on a release bot. Um, uh, because uh, imagine that you just created some, uh, you are working on some great project, you create some uh, amazing code, push it, and merge some uh, great pull requests. And uh, then you need to do this hard work, like uh, clicking and making releases, uploading uh, uh, to PyPI or uh, packaging and uh, etc. So uh, that's why we are working on, on a release bot. And uh, at current state, release bot can create releases on PyPR, uh, PyPI GitHub, and we are working on Pagur. Um, but actually, I believe that maybe some, 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 uh, some in the future, uh, we can also probably help like JavaScript developers or, or Ruby developers and, and create um, some and, and help upload their uh, packages um, online. So um, I think you will like the concept of the release bot. Uh, it's, it, it's working in five step, steps, actually it's four. Uh, so step one, um, uh, you as upstream developer uh, can open an issue in your uh, upstream repository uh, which basically tri trigger our release bot. Uh, step two, release bot is triggered and it uh, will look on our repository, maybe uh, work with some changelog. Changelog is basically file which describe uh, uh, differences between uh, versions and it will create a pull request. Then uh, in step three, US, uh, admi uh, US uh, upstream developer, you just check the pull request if everything is okay and merge it. And step four, release will just create a release on PyPI, on GitHub or uh, Pagur. So uh, that it, that, that's it and it, it, it just depends what you set up in your configuration files. And step five, uh, step five, your users are just very, very happy, but who actually benefits from, from the release bot? It's you as a maintainer, because you know you can just put your legs on, on the table or just doing uh, much important stuff. Uh, today, I actually prepared a um, live demo, uh, but I'm not sure how internet, I found out that internet is really slow here, so we will see how it will work. Okay, uh, so here I, ha I have like a clean uh, environment, Python environment. Um, and I will be working with our uh, readme file uh, uh, in uh, our release bot repository. It, there is quite a lot of uh, text, but you will see that uh, it's pretty easy to, to work with this readme. So uh, there are several modes how you can run a release bot. Uh, you can run it on your local machine. Uh, you can run it on OpenShift. And in, uh, to the future, we are preparing a GitHub application to make the whole process much more, more easier. But today, I will show you just this mo most easier uh, way how can you set up uh, your release bot on your local machine. So uh, let's install our release bot. And while um, it installing, I will create a new uh, repository on GitHub. Let's say it will be uh, our project uh, where we want to create our releases. So let's call it like uh, most uh, amazing presentation and create the repository. 
OK, and actually I will clone this repository into my uh, uh, wor workspace. So it's here. I, c I don't know if you can see it. So, uh, and I will go inside this project. Um, OK. Now. Uh, I'm going to read me of the release bot, and there are two ways how you can set up uh, your, this configuration way, uh, this co configuration files. One way is just run release bot in it, but actually I want to show you uh, some manual con manual configuration to understand what's actually how how it works. So basically, there are uh, two configuration files. One configuration file we need to set up into um, our uh, repository uh, because make repository like compatible with release bot and second um, second configuration file we need because it will contain some uh, sensitive data so let's create our first uh, configuration file we have some examples here so I will uh, basically copy paste it uh, into our project uh, so I will create new file copy paste and save it as uh, releaseconv.yaml. OK. So now I will go from the button and I will explain a little this configuration file. So basically here we have some, some labels uh, because release body is working with uh, issues and pull requests in your, in your uh, GitHub repository. So we want to sometimes label it. So let's say uh, we want labels like uh, bot and flock 2019. Um, for this demo, we don't want to uh, publish our release on PyPI. So I will choose false. And basically, there is some information for for change or we don't need for for now, but we need one more uh, flag. Uh, actually, it's trigger on issue, and this flag basically means that uh, our release bot will be triggered uh, when when new issue will be open in our repository. So let's save it, and I will push it to the master. Uh, at config master. Okay, fine. So now when I refresh our repository, it should be there. Yes, it is. And the last thing we need to set up is our second configuration. We have also some example here. So I will copy paste it uh, as well. Uh, uh, but there is one important thing. We shouldn't, uh, uh, as I told, the second configuration file uh, contains some uh, sensitive data, so we shouldn't uh, uh, save it into our like project repository. We can save it in, into our local machine or into some private GitHub repository. So I will go to, uh, to my workspace create new file, I will save it like conf.yaml and it's quite intuitive so I will fill all the all the uh, flags but actually if you want to know more about these configuration files we have uh, two tables, uh, one for each uh, configuration file where you can know more about all these flags what you can, what you can set up into, into your uh, configuration. So uh, repository name is this new most amazing presentation. Uh, repository owner, it's me. And we will need also GitHub username, it's also me. And I will set uh, set up a refresh interval for 15 seconds. Actually, uh, when release bot run on your local machine, it's it's based on pooling, so there is some infinity loop, and every uh, now 15 seconds it will wake up and check the repository if there is some new uh, issues, let's say. But um, but when you run release bot, for example, in OpenShift, uh, it works on webhooks, so you just call uh, you just create some webhook URL and 
um, and GitHub itself will notify the release, but that there is some new action and I want to create a new release. And the last thing uh, I need to set up is my very uh, secure uh, token from GitHub. So I will set up here and yeah. Okay, I actually think this is everything. Uh, you can see that uh, set up configuration file files for release, but it's quite easy stuff uh, up to five minutes. Um, so now uh, I will do last thing and it will be, I will copy paste the command how to run our release bot. So uh, I will go to our workspace. Uh, so I want to run a release bot with configuration file conf yaml and debug flag, which basically means that it will just show us some prints uh, what what actually a release bot do. So now I will run it. So um, now it's uh, now it's sleeping for 15 seconds. So. Let's go to our most amazing presentation and I will create our first uh, issue which will trigger like creating a new issue. Um, but before I uh, have to know in which format I can create uh, such issues. So uh, let's create a new issue and in our readme there are all the formats you can use actually. Uh, so let's create a new uh, issue in our presentation. Let's call it uh, version 001 release and submit this issue. As we can see, there is our f first release and our bot is sleeping for 15 seconds. So let's wait for a while. Yes, so now it's uh, is doing the hard job, uh, hard, hard work now. And uh, yeah. Now, when I refresh our repository, there is one closed issue. There are our labels, like bot and flock 2019. Uh, when I open it, there is a message from our release bot. I just made a pull request for release version 001, and here is the link. So I will open our pull request. There is actually, again, some message from our release bot, and there is no change log provided. I will fix it in the uh, next step. So let's merge this. Uh, pull request, uh, it's merged. Now, when I check our repository, there is still, there are still zero releases, but, and our bot is sleeping. So let's wait for a while. It says I just released version, so we can. Uh, the, what do you mean? Number one line says I just released version. Aha, 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 okay, yes, yes, I can see. Okay, so actually now he, he we, we have our first release made by uh, our release bot. So quite, quite easy uh, stuff how to, how to do this. Um, for now, I, I just um, quit the release bot for a while. Uh, I will go to our project and I will create a change log. I need to pull all, all changes from our project and and I will upload empty change log. At change log git push origin, let's push it to the master. And uh, again, I will run our release bot. Okay, let's type it. Okay, so now I will show you the last thing. Uh, let's create a new Maya release. Let's go again into our project and create new issue. Uh, new issue, new my release, submit new issue, and let's wait for 
our release bot. Okay, so there is pull request, and here we can see uh, the commit and what what's what's new in our changelog. Actually, we can also edit it when when we want some changes. So uh, add changelog from release bot and commit. And let's let's just merge this. Okay, now again let's wait for our release bot. So Nice. Now we should have like two releases and the second release also a uh, content message uh, from the changelog. So actually uh, this is everything I wanted to uh, show you today. Um, uh, in the future, actually this is my task for, the, for uh, this summer, I uh, working on the GitHub application, so it must be much more easier to, to set release bot on your repository and um, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions now, you can ask me or um, yes. So I have a couple. Uh, one, I didn't quite follow. What do you use the labels for? Labels. Uh, you can use labels just uh, just if if you want to use labels, like. Uh, you know, when you have your upstream project here, you have a lot of uh, lot of issues, and you just want to know which is from your uh, from your bot. So there is uh, labels from 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 the bot, actually, and the same is for uh, the pull request. You know, a lot of people using labeling just uh, to find difference between between all the pull requests and issues. Right. So and then um, the other question was um, in your config file. From the repo you're, you're working on? Uh, actually, like, uh, you, you get remote minus e right there will give you the same information, right? You, you mean like project name? Yeah. I specified, yes, because uh, we need to do this actually, because this, uh, there are two configuration files. Mm -hmm. And I used uh, project name in, in the second one, which is actually private because uh, there are some sensitive information like GitHub token. So this won't be saved somewhere in within my project, actually. Right. But the first three lines you can get from just saying git remote minus D on the like, like that information is in the git repo already. Yes, this is uh, actually true. I, I don't know. If no, because it, this config file is not in the upstream repo. Doesn't have to be. I'm saying you don't you don't need the, the lines. Not that it needs to be the pick out. No, you don't need them actually. Because okay, so the thing is that you run release both like in OpenShift or, or in the container, and you have this config file in your private repository, and that private repository is not your upstream project actually. Well, so no, that was my yeah, yeah, so you don't you just need or this is this is kind of getting at the same point. It's like so how does release bot know where the the project it's supposed to be releasing is? Like is that in this directory? Like where do you run release bot from? To anywhere? So in this config file can I have multiple projects? No, not yet, not yet actually. Now we are working on this uh, GitHub application, and we want to figure out how how to use one uh, release bot instance for more deployments. Actually, and th there are two ways. Like we can hard code it in in configuration file uh, all all your repositories what you want to use, or actually, if you will run a GitHub application, there will be webhooks, so 
GitHub itself will notify you which project want new release. So then these these lines maybe will be um, just deleted. I, I'm not sure yet. So the, basically, so you don't have to have a checkout of the project anywhere when running release five. Uh, what what do you mean? Can you? Like the project doesn't have to be checked out anywhere. You can just operate correctly against you know that. You just need the form. You just need the form configuration. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are assuming that I have only one project in uh, one Git repository. Uh, at the current set, yes. Yeah. It would be good to assume that I have four projects. So one. Yeah. 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 Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. How, how can I do that? The bot does it itself, actually. Like, if, there, if, if it's a Python project, it will bump the uh, version in, like, name of the project slash underscore underscore version dot five. So it would read. Okay. So. Okay. Actually, I'm here till Sunday, so if you have more questions, you can just find me here. And I just would like to invite you for two more uh, uh, presentations. One is uh, here from Tomas. It's also for, about releases and how to bring your upstream release to Fedora in one step. So again, some automated, it, it is spec it. Yes. yes. And uh, the second one is, I think it's tomorrow morning. It's uh, Fedora summer coding uh, showcase and, and meetup. So thank you for listening and enjoy.